Hello. Um, there's a lot of unboxings of um, very expensive stuff. So um, I thought I'd do one um, for this. This is a Cougar and it's the MG120G case. Um, it is not very expensive. So let's see um, what it's like. We'll get it opened and have a look. So, it's easier to lift the box off the case. It is to lift the case out the box. Obviously, you've got to watch the little carrying handle bits, make sure those bits of cardboard aren't poking inside. But it should just come straight off like that. Looks like. Um Something made it in a field. Uh, slip it over. Something went there. There it is. It's quite a nice, um, it's got a tempered glass side panel. That is a magnetic mesh on the top, which um, sort of fits, but it's not, obviously not as slick as some of them that just sort of line themselves up when you push them in. That one's a bit tight. Okay, that's got to open. I mean, I open and done. So I'll get all these up. Now we'll see if that's on a lip. So if I undo that, will it just fall out? No, that's because it's resting on the little. Ah, oh, look, that's quite good. There's a little. How do you take? How you take it off thing? My hand's moving on that, so I'm going to take that dust filter off. It's quite a bit wobbly. Move those screws out of the way. I'll lay it down flat, as the little instruction thing suggests. And there's a little lip under there. And I can lift that straight off. And it's got the plastic on the film on the front and the back. Please lay case down flat when you remove or install the tempered glass panel. Hmm, that seems very thoughtful. So I'll put that down there on the floor. And we'll just have a little look, see what we've got. Uh, the noise that was making that sort of rattling noise was the fan. There's a pre-installed fan. It's got a Molex and it's got a three-pin fan connector on it. And there's a couple of plastic, well you can see them, a couple of plastic SSD sort of things. Now how do I get it? everything else? I'm guessing I'll take the back off here, take the side off. That's tight, that one's tight. So I'm going to need a screwdriver to get that off. Just loosen it. Yeah, it's quite stiff. So that's how you sort of know it's sort of cheap. But if we're honest about things, you only really need to undo the screws and put them back in again when you're building it, don't you? So it doesn't really matter 
that you have to put a little bit more effort in than you would do normally with a more expensive case. It's not um, thin. And right, so USB 3. We've got a USB 3 on there and we've also got a USB. So on the top of the case you have power, reset, USB 3, USB 2 and then headphone and uh, mic. So you get one USB 3, not two, and a USB 2. A bit strange because obviously that cable can handle um, you know, the connector. You can plug two ports with that connector if you've got two you know, on the front. So I mm, guess it was a bit cheaper, I don't know. Three and a half inch hard drive, plastic, slides in, that looks like it's removable, just in case your power supply is a bit longer than the space they've given you. So let's just see what accessories we get. Not many by the feel of it. manual yeah it's got um, what they all do accessory kit right, what you get with it it's obviously this bag here nice little collection of screws there's a couple of motherboard risers in there. Let's see how many are pre-fitted. There are one, two, three, four, five, five pre-fitted. Hmm. Okay. So there must be a few more in there. Two of the ones that are missing, and then you get a couple of cable ties. No, I've got five cable ties. So, yes, so this is about, um, I think it was like, like 30 pounds or something. Which, um, that's not bad, is it, really? Um, the front has got um, a plasticky panel as well. I mean, that's not glass. That's, um, that's plastic. <laughs> You can sort of see it. Oh, I'm on the risk of it slipping, but I'll just pull it up. The Cougar logo isn't very well printed on the front. So, but that's, that's plastic. So I don't mind it, because again, you don't really touch it and use it. Yeah, you're not really conscious of it, unless you tap it or something. And you tend to do that when you're building it. So for 30 quid, phew, can't really go wrong, can you? And it's obviously, obviously it's not as refined or as funky as some of the cases you can get. But um, it's pretty good value. Um, anyway, if you've got any um, questions about it or any um, comments you want to make, then there's a bit of a gap there. It's not particularly flush. So yes, you can tell it's a cheap case. But it, it is quite nice. Anyway, if you've got any comments, um, stick them in the comments below. Um, liking and subscribing is um, always appreciated. Uh, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hello again. Um, nice to see you're still here um, watching this. Uh, I thought after I'd unboxed it and started to construct a PC using the case, I thought I'd just sort of report back on a few things that I've noticed. Um, some of them are annoying, some of them aren't. Let's do the things that aren't annoying first. And that's these two and a half inch little drive tray things here. They're quite good, actually, because they've got like a spring-loaded catch on them, which means you just drop it into the holes there, and then it clips in. So you get two of them. So there... 
they're actually quite good I quite like those the other trays I pulled out on the unboxing they've got um, two and a half inch screw holes as well so so that's kind of nice so if you want to show off your SSDs you can put them in like that so there's three places you can put them there's also corresponding holes for the cables at the back which is quite handy because I'm going to use those to route the motherboard cables through so that's kind of nice as well so they accidentally did something brilliant there um, or not maybe it was deliberate I don't know um, right now um, annoyances um, yeah I think I mentioned that the um, fan had a Molex connector on which is a bit crazy uh, I mean even considering backwards compatibility a Molex is still a little bit daft so um, here's a little tip for you you get yourself a very fine sort of screwdriver and just pinch it and press down on one of the metal bits there and then the little thing should pull out it's a little bit fiddly but if you press down correctly you can take it out like that and obviously that one of those was attached on there and you do the one at a time so you take it out and you'll find it's attached and you just get a little snipper and these are very fine point ones and just snip it off and then it just fits back in and that makes it a lot cleaner because you haven't got this molex thing sticking out of the way so that'll obviously go just in there and you don't want that dangling about so just remove it um not a problem really so uh yeah uh now here's the really annoying bit and why you can tell it's a 30 quid case i mean 30 quid it's, it's impressive for 30 quid let's be honest uh you get uh, four motherboard risers already pre-fitted that means you've got a few others to put in um one two three four to put in and there's one spare and that's good because um, you should lay your risers out and just put a screw in and make sure it screws in so that you've got them all ready um, I didn't do that and I think this is the first time I haven't done it um, and it's the first time that the stupid thing didn't screw in so that doesn't actually screw into that one at all and it doesn't matter which screw i try the thread does not it just doesn't it's just not machined properly um i didn't notice that until i put them in put the motherboard on and then started screwing them in i almost screwed them all in and i came to this one and it just wasn't gonna have it so it's it's like oh no um so i had to take them all out let the motherboard out and then i went to remove it using my widger and um, it didn't come out because <laughs> the metal's thin it's easy to, sh to shred and it's and it just the holes that the screws that this is meant to fit in which is they just weren't good enough um, so that was fun so you can see that there's a lot of silver on it you can probably see it glinting with silver when it should be black that probably highlights it better can you see although the reflection makes it glow you can st the silver bit stays silver you know? and so it sort of shredded it a little bit um lucky there was one spare so that's what's in there and it's fitting in perfectly but lay them out screw them in make sure they go in before yeah that's really frustrating but it, that's because it's a 30 quid case so you're going to get shortcuts so that the quality of the risers isn't that great these i don't think these are brass these are just sort of weird, sort of machined aluminium, I think. I don't, even, I don't think they're magnetic. Um, I don't think I can test if they are. I can test if they are magnetic. Let's just see if they are. Yeah, so that's just, that's not aluminium, is it? That's just sort of machined, machined steel. So they're, they're and, and they're not brass. Brass is just a nicer, it's just a nicer metal for that kind of thing um that's really annoying isn't it but you only put them in once and that's when you assemble the pc and once they're in that's it so 30 quid cannot go wrong if you're looking for a really cheap case that's actually quite stylish with the side panel 
and radiate the space on the top, then 30 quid. Or you can spend 200 quid and get yourself a, a something funky from the Life. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll end this one now. So any questions, any comments, stick them in the comments. If you've got any um, thoughts about what I've said, then don't be shy. Um, and um, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>